After a year's absence, Marilyn Monroe flew back to Los Angeles from New York and answered reporters' questions. How do you feel about coming back to Hollywood? Is it a happy time for you? Or it yes, it's a very happy time. I'm happy to be back. As I was told, it's my hometown. Yes. Well, you're a happy girl now. When you, when you go to London? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, I'm much happier, though. I'm How very pleased. Is it true that you uh, committed a list of directors? <clears throat> would work with? Um, we only know the rumors we hear, you know. I would rather say uh, that I have direct approval, and that is true. This you think is important? Yes, it is. Very important to me. Marilyn, are you happy to come back and do this picture? Are you pleased with the bus picture bus stop? Oh, yes, very much. I'm looking forward to working with Josh Logan doing the picture, and it's good to be back. Is it, was he your, your selection as a director? Uh, 20th Century Fox selected him, and um, yeah. I have director approval, and they asked if I would approve of him, and definitely you did. Yeah. So you're, you're very happy. You think you're going to make a very good picture. I hope it will be a good picture. Do you feel, you said you wanted to grow. Do you feel you have grown? <clears throat> Well, I hardly know how to answer that since they misinterpret that, meaning I'm not in inches or something. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> well, Marilyn, speaking of measurements, are they still the same as when you left? Have you gained weight? Have you lost weight? Have you... I think I'm about the same. About the same. Yes. Nobody has any complaints. <laughs> I don't know. Speak up, boys. <laughs> You're wearing a high-neck dress now. The last time I saw you were. Is this a new Marilyn, a new style? No, I'm the same person, but it's a different suit. <laughs> Putting an end to all speculation, Arthur Miller and Marilyn Monroe confirmed they will soon marry. Everyone is interested in your plans and that big question. Now, can you tell us where and when? Uh, I'm not going to say where we will be married for just that reason because uh, I think it's time enough for everybody to know when it happens and uh, leave us with a little bit of peace until it happens. Can you tell us what kind of a wedding you're going to have? Very quiet, I hope. Uh, do you feel certain at this time that you will be able to get away to go to England? I feel certain I'm going to try awfully hard. And it means you may not have a honeymoon together then. I think we will. Looking relaxed and self-assured, they posed for pictures with Arthur Miller's parents after answering reporters' questions. The couple plan to go to England soon so Miss Monroe can begin work on a new film, although Mr. Miller's legal problems may prevent him from joining her. Marilyn Monroe and Warner Brothers Pictures announced at a Hollywood press conference that they're joining forces. The world's most famous blonde will produce her film, The Sleeping Prince, for Warner Brothers. Executive producer Jack L. Warner gives Marilyn the key to the studio, while other stars, including James Stewart, welcome her to the company's headquarters. Stewart is starring in another Warner Brothers film. He portrays Charles Lindbergh in The Spirit of St. Louis. Sir Lawrence Olivia and Marilyn will co-star in The Sleeping Prince, a former stage hit to become a movie in color for fascinating Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe spoke with reporters briefly about her husband's current legal battle. I would like to say that I'm fully confident that in the end my husband will win this case. And it didn't upset your professional career at all? It didn't stop anything you were working on at the time? Uh, no, I haven't been working recently. And what are your plans when you return to New York? Well, we hope to go back to our normal life. Mr. Miller is fighting a contempt of Congress citation for refusing to answer questions before the House Un-American Activities Committee. Miss Monroe will accompany her husband to Washington in hopes of seeing him vindicated. Marilyn Monroe and Arthur Miller arrived in London to be greeted by news reporters, photographers, and fans. 
In England, to begin filming The Prince and the Showgirl, the couple were greeted by co-star Laurence Olivier and his wife, Vivian Lee. The motion picture is the first for Miss Monroe's new production company and will be distributed by Warner Brothers. Whenever and wherever she appeared, Marilyn set the town of Flutter. The high point of the trip, however, was a royal command performance where the Hollywood movie queen met the Queen of England. JFK got a surprise at his recent birthday party held at Madison Square Garden. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> a woman about whom <laughs> it truly may be said she needs no introduction. Let me just say, <laughs> here she is. But I'll give her an introduction anyway, Mr. President, because in the history of show business, perhaps there has been no one female who meant so much, who has done more. Mr. President, the late Marilyn Monroe. President of the United States. now retire from politics after having had a happy birthday sung to me in such a sweet, open way. <laughs> 